so it's taken me a little bit of time to get started with the videos for this course. The collective has been working with me on and off, um, giving me messages and putting um, a vision onto my uh, into my my being for how this it should be laid out for you all. Um, I want to just give you a quick overview for those of you that don't know me of how I got to this process. Okay, so my name is Suzanne, and I'm the owner of White Dragonfly Healing. I am a uh, Holy Fire 3 Reiki Master, Angel Fire Reiki Master Teacher, uh, Kyushi, which is Quantum Soul Healing Integration, which is an offshoot of QHHT, Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique. Um, these are the things that I do. I work with the angelic realm in my healing. Um, I have a very clear divine connection to the angels and to God. I work directly with Jesus when I'm doing healing. And um, I feel very blessed to have that kind of connection and to be able to help people the way I can when I'm doing healing sessions in whatever form that is. I also do readings and um, I don't, they're not really readings. They're messages that come through for the collective that they want me to share uh, with you. Um, they show me in real time, in real life, uh, things that I go through and deal with. And then it kind of unfolds in a way that it helps the people uh, out there that follow my channel when I bring it through as a message from them. I have to experience first before I can share anything with you. So I truly do have to go through these things. It's not just stuff I make up. Um, some of the, the, the situations I go through um, are really intense and tough for me to deal with on a personal level. Um, before I can bring it through as a message for you to share with everybody out there. So, um, just a quick overview of how I got to where I'm at with this quantum med bed healing. Okay. Um, everybody's been waiting for the med beds. There's been a lot of publicity about them, a lot of in the background, uh, um, channels and people that talk about the med beds, how the military has them and how, you know, they're coming out soon and how they've been held from us and kept from us. Um, and that may be true for the physical med beds, but there is actually a quantum field med bed that we all have access to. Okay. And this is, it's taken a long time for them to bring it to me in so many different scenarios to, to get to the point where I can explain how it works. And it's really kind of cool. So um, first off, before I started taking my Reiki training back in 2013, I always had that divine connection um, in one form or another throughout my life. I, I won't go into details about that, but I took my uh, Yasui Reiki in 2013. And in level one, the angel stepped in to me during a healing session with my father. And I'm it's also written out here a little bit for you too. So I'm just going to probably touch on some of the things that are in the written form as well. Okay. So um, it was during a session with my father that um, the the angel said to me, get ready. And they came into me and that was the first a complete uh, integration I had with the angels on a physical level. And from there, it, it just took off uh, with my healing. So um they wanted me to shift very quickly into working with them, that they would teach me, they would show me visually, um, hearing, um, you know, uh, with my third eye and uh, audibly what I could hear from them um, in, in Reiki sessions. And I did that for a long time. I would say it was after I completed my uh, Holy Fire 2, I think it was at that time, or 1, Holy Fire 2. Uh, Reiki master training that they wanted me to shift into more teaching angel fire Reiki, which is how I work with the collective. Okay, so um, I started teaching classes and teaching angel fire Reiki. And that kind of um, led me over a two year period uh, to Dolores Cannon. So I was working directly with the angels in healing sessions. Okay. And um, I was led to the QHHT course. Over two years, they kept dropping this information through my feeds when I was scrolling and I'd see things with Dolores Cannon and I was fascinated with her work and I love to watch her videos and things like that. And it wasn't until I saw another quantum healer that does sessions like this where they told me, you can do this. Like, this is what we're trying to get you to do. So they had to show me somebody different other than Dolores Cannon for me to get it. So I took the course over a long weekend 
Thanksgiving long weekend when my husband was away fishing. And I immediately started doing 25 sessions. We had to do at that time, 25 sessions, uh, practice sessions of quantum healing hypnosis technique. Okay. On the 26th session in a, uh, in the middle of the session, they completely flipped me into being able to use my other abilities that I have. They it came in, the energy came in like big beams of violet energy. I could see them. There's actually a video on my channel. You may be able to hunt it out and watch that where they changed me into, they told me they wanted me to call it Kyushi, quantum soul healing integration, which meant um, I could do hands-on with with the client during sessions, I would have a different interaction with the collective. Um, not only did we do the past life regression and heal and work on the healing for the client, but I started to gain this rapport with the other side and how um, over the years and the sessions that I would do hundreds of sessions um, that I would have this ongoing conversation with them where I could refer back or they would tell me, Hey, we already told you about this, or we taught you this already, you know, and they would remember, it wouldn't matter who I was doing the session for. Um, I always dealt with the same collective. And that was the Elohim, um, Jesus, uh, Mother Mary would come through and Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, and um, sometimes Metatron. But the main person I work with is Jesus in my sessions, in my healing sessions for Reiki and in my quantum healing sessions, I can pull him through anybody. He's so willing to step forward and discuss with me anything that's going on. So I feel very grateful about that to have his energy come through. And I feel um, for me, he is a teacher. Although I, I am a follower of him, I feel he's always been a guide and a teacher for me in whichever lifetime I've had. So it's a very comfortable rapport I have with him in sessions and when, I'm, when he's bringing me messages and things like that. And I'm very grateful for that. I love that. So um, that brought me to Kyushi. Okay. And then they, they flipped me into doing meditations where I could bring that body scan that was uh, so prevalent in the quantum healing sessions into a meditation and put it out there for thousands of people to follow and to do the, the, the body scan themselves through a meditation. So I think I did five or six meditations like this that are on my channel. You can also follow them if I close to 8,000 people, which isn't a lot on the internet. But for me, that's a lot of people that have listened to that first original white light body scan healing meditation. Okay. Um, after the meditations, they got me into when I started teaching Kyushi, they wanted me to, um, or I was concerned that the, the students wouldn't be able to handle the energy that comes through because I was thinking, well, this is how hard it is for me. I can't imagine how it is for other people. So God graced me with a, a, a frequency. He called, um, he called it the angel fire Reiki transfer. Okay. But it was a rainbow frequency, a very hot um, refined energy that he would, put he would give to the students in a transfer there's two a cleansing one and then the transfer of the energy to connect with the angels so that they would be working with the same collective they would um you know have the same abilities kind of that i do and and over time hopefully they would be able to grow into that after that um i waited and waited and waited and then i stopped working in healing for close to two years. Um, I was feeling that something was going to come forward bigger than what I'd done already, although I didn't know what could possibly top the, uh, the Kyushi sessions, you know, but um, I was wrong, right? Of course, through a, um, a series of events on the internet, I found a, I was looking at med beds actually, and there was this, uh, company, I guess, that was saying, well, you can connect with our med bed, quantum, like with through the quantum field, just upload a picture of your, your bed that you're going to be lying on. And then you can connect to this bed and you can try it. And if it works for you, you can sign up for $800. And you can have access to this, this bed anytime you want. So I thought, well, that's really cool. So I signed up and my husband signed up to try the free trial. And I let my husband go first. And um, they said to me, 
Suzanne, you know you don't have to go through this process to create a med bed. We will show you. We want you to give your own med bed a name. And uh, we're going to show you while your husband's doing his in the other room. So I laid on my chair and I actually gave my med bed a name and called it in basically. And they showed me, I felt the scan coming up the body. I also felt, you know, different parts of my body that were being um, worked on uh, parts of my body that I was needing work on. They would instantly go to it, you know, and they're, you know, while I'm doing this, I'm thinking, well, geez, I've had this kind of interaction with the other side long before I even took Reiki or just not long after I did Reiki in my book, I talk about a lot of things that they showed me in the nighttime and the body scan was one of them. Okay. And I woke up and I could see this. It was like from my feet to my head, it was coming in like this and it was like a beam of light, you know, from the other side. So I didn't know that was a body scan. Like it was going to be years before I learned what a body scan was, you know, when they showed me it, it was years until they, I actually understood that. Anyway, so they showed me about this quantum med bed. And then, um, so that was about five months ago now, I guess. And they wanted me to, to tell you that it's possible for you to do the same thing that I've done. The quantum field is massive and we have access to it. And we just need to know how to call these things in and understand what we're working with. And uh, we can create and build our own med bed. Everything has to happen from the etheric level first and filter down into the physical before the healing begins, right? So we're creating, we'll be creating these med beds in the quantum field and they will integrate into become a physical bed over time because the information they're telling me will be because we're creating it up here. It'll be filtering down to those people that have the ability to understand how to build these on a level where regular people will have access to them. Okay. So we have to manifest it on the quantum field first before we will have access to them on this level. They're just telling me this right now. I didn't know that. But anyway, I'm sure there are med beds already in the physical form, but we don't have access to them. So this is to open it up to the rest of you who want to start doing your own inner healing and maybe understanding a little bit better um, how it's possible to have your own med bed, have it working for you directly, specifically for things that you want with specific entities, energies, beings from the other side. And uh, that it's an exciting thing to do. So this is this is what this is about. So I am going to uh, now read a little bit of um, what's involved with the med bed. So this is uh, really not planned. I just jumped in here. Uh, and started because uh, I don't have a lot of time to do this. So I waited uh, until I had a little bit of time today. And I thought this is it, I'm just going to jump in and do the video because I know people are waiting for it. So what they want you to understand about the quantum field. They say, I'm just going to read what's in the book. It's important to understand the scope and the magnitude of possibilities you can encompass when building your own bed. Okay, there's an endless amount of energetic healing frequency available to you as an individual. Um, so let your imagination and your heart lead the way. We all know that if we're heart centered, um, we're at the highest frequency. And when we're at the highest frequency, the dense energies that cause sickness and disease and aches and pains in the body and emotional problems, they don't exist. Okay, or they, they go away. So they say, don't be shy. Ask for what you want and need in order to heal. So how do you create the bed? Okay. You do this in a quiet space on your own. So make sure the kids are gone. Make sure your pets aren't bothering you. Make sure your spouse is out doing something else. 
Okay. Uh, make sure you have quiet time to yourself where your phone's not going to go off. In fact, shut your phone off, shut your social media off and just take the time to build this career, this properly the first time. Okay. And um, really, really think about how you're pulling this together for your own healing. Okay. So first off, we are going to choose a name for your healing bed. And this is important. Okay. I called mine, my quantum healing bed 2022. That's the name of my bed. Because I figure each year, I'm going to take the time to upgrade. There'll be different energetic things that I want to bring into that space to help me with the healing. Okay. And if I once a year, I do that, or throughout the year, I tweak it a little bit, that's okay. So um, take time to think of a name. Uh, my suggestion would be to lie quietly and relax, okay, breathe deeply, and then ask the collective to grant you a name, matching your current vibration. Then listen and wait for the words to come to you, okay? Okay, so the collective says, you're wide awake if you're here. All right, you are wide awake if you are here listening to me do this course right now. Okay, um, and what do you really know about the quantum field? All right, uh, below is what the collective, what I'm going to read you here, is what the collective would like you to embrace as a precursor to creating your quantum bed. Creating your own personal quantum med bed is a very big deal, and it's not one to create on a whim. Okay, so please note, uh, this is what I'm going to read. This is a minuscule understanding of the quantum field and the connection to quantum entanglement, sacred geometry, frequency, and vibration. So all of these things are available to you, plus a multitude of other things that I may not even understand or know about, but maybe you do. Okay, these are just the things they gave me to remind you of what's available to you when you create your bed. All right. So the quantum field is, has, and holds, creates, etc. these things. God's white healing light, number one. Okay, which is made up of a rainbow of colors, multiple spectrums that our eyes cannot see, uh, frequencies, tone, and vibration. Okay, that's God's white light, the healing white light that you call in during the meditations. Okay, human consciousness is another aspect to the quantum field. So everybody's thoughts, feelings, emotions, everything is part of the quantum field and the human consciousness. All right. There's multiple etheric layers, densities, which consist of vibration, color, frequency, and tone. Okay. There are angels, and I've seen them. They're big. <laughs> there are star beings. I have seen some of them too, and they are beautiful beings. Okay. I see the white beings actually the they look like big ets and they're tall and and they've got the big eyes okay um there are spirit guides we all have spirit guides ancestors there's animals um crossed over family members are they're all on the other side right pets that we've had um your higher dimensional aspects your own okay um your own layers and vibrations, because we're not just physical solid body, we are etheric on the other side. And we have multiple layers, vibration, essence, spirit, and soul spark. Okay. Um, there are ET races. There is wind, there is water, there is earth, there is fire. There's symbols, like sacred geometry symbols numbers, codes, equations, shapes, sacred geometry, planets, stars, comets, gases, and nebulas. Okay. Um, the other thing that they say, um, is 
in the quantum field, it's full of emotions. So there's peace, there's anger, joy, love, deception, betrayal, happiness, uneasiness, trust, mistrust, judgment, silence, quiet, noise, banging, sonic booms, and consciousness, and more. Okay, those are the things that they brought to me. All right, so they say it's important to understand the scope and the magnitude of possibilities you can encompass when building your med bed. So all of these aspects on the quantum field are there for you to call to you, okay, to make your bed. So your quantum bed is made up of everything you call to it. So this is what they made me put down on paper for you. Start to talk to the quantum field. So this is why you want to be quiet. You want to be lying quietly. You want to be on your own. Okay. So you don't get embarrassed or feel like somebody's listening to you. Um, okay. You want to start to talk to the quantum field. Uh, state your intentions to attract and connect with every, everyone or thing you wish to have you help to help. Sorry. You wish to have help you with your healing. Okay, so it's important to take your time to do this and think, okay, and try to remember everything. Connect with anything that makes you feel joy or that you feel will interact with your energy field and spirit to bring balance, harmony, and smooth frequency. Okay, so the list below was provided to spark your imagination as to what you want to bring to your med bed space. You're building your own white light quantum med bed. If you feel that the rays of the sun will be beneficial to your healing, then call them in and ask them to be present. If you are attracted to water or dolphins, you can ask for the water elements um, and dolphin energy to infuse into your med bed. If you feel like laughter from a child or a warm memory from, from the past makes you feel good and it'll help you heal, then call it in. Okay, call in that memory of the laughter to infuse into the med bed. If you feel your vibration or the vibration of the numbers, 333, 222, 111, any combination that you constantly see that makes you spark up your energy, call it to your med bed. If you feel um, a color is special to you, all right, um, call it in. If you have a flavor or a smell or a song, call it into the space that's going to encompass your med bed. Basically, anything that's going to make you feel good is what you want to have helping you heal, okay? Okay. Um, So it's important to be on your own and fully relaxed, right? When you're doing this. So you can call those feelings, emotions, and energy of what you want in your med bed. If you're quiet and calm, you'll be able to breathe in all that you want into your space and lock it in. Once you have called everything you feel will help you feel good, thank the energy for being there and ask for their presence to be available when you activate the med bed. So, um, I have down here, explain the importance of why you call them there. And, oh, yes, okay, and ask them to say, to ask them when you say med bed with your name, activate, that they will all fall into place and prepare for some healing. Okay, so um, I'm going to wing it now because I ran out of writing. <laughs> all right, I don't have anything else written here. So what you're going to do is you're going to lie quietly. You're going to say, to the quantum field, I am going to call everything to me that makes me feel good. And here is my list. And then start naming off your list. I would like them to all be present with me now and call them in. Once you feel like you've invited everybody to the party, you talk to them and you say, I really want to do some healing of my body and my spirit and my mind. And I've chosen all of you specifically to help me raise my frequency and help me with my healing. I would like to ask you to participate with my healing sessions, which I know you would be honored to do for me. And I appreciate that. So when I say 
my quantum healing med bed 2020 to activate, I want you all to fall into place and surround me. Okay. That's what you're going to do. Part one. So I've got a picture in here somewhere of um, the med bed. And that's how they showed me the med bed actually is circle with like, and that took a while and it was a visual physical thing. They were showing me with my eye um, that it was a med bed and it's, it, it's kind of like an MRI machine. Okay. So you imagine that that is what you'll be, your essence will be placed in when you activate your bed, it'll surround you like that wherever you're lying and it will only encompass you. Okay. And that's kind of what it looks like the circle you're in the etheric realm with that. You may feel the physical things going on, but your, your spirit is getting healed. Okay. Um, and all of those aspects that you've called in are around you like that. Okay. That's kind of how I wanted to illustrate the, the picture that I'll pop in here somewhere at, at some point and you'll see it. Um, so imagine yourself like that when you're lying in the bed that, um, you know, those beings are around you, the animals are around you, you know, the energy that you like in those colors is around you. And those are the things that are going to heal you. Okay. So you say my quantum healing med bed 2022, or your name, activate. And then I, it's important that you allow them to fall into place, you'll start to feel if you're sensitive to energy, you'll start to feel like a bubble around you. Or maybe you won't. Okay, I don't really feel it um, setting up around me anymore. I start to feel it when I sink really, really deep into relaxation, and it starts coming up my feet, then I start feeling that that jetting. Okay. But you're going to allow yourself to get as relaxed as you can. So my quantum healing med bed 22 activate and take the time to relax five, 10 minutes. And then when you're really, really relaxed, you can say, please scan my body. That's it. Please scan my body. And then lie quietly. And what you'll start to feel is movement. Um, if you're sensitive to that, to energy, you'll feel the movement. You'll feel them instantly working on the parts of your body that they know needs help. Now, if you, you're lying there and you think, oh, my right hip is like, oh, I should get up there. And you'll, you'll instantly feel them start to work on it, okay? The one time that I tried this when they were originally showing me to go out on my chair and do this while my husband was doing the other one, okay? Um, I said, fix my eye. I we need you to work on my eye, okay? Well, it felt like they were standing over me and putting a needle in my eye and doing all kinds of stuff. I was seeing lights and flashes and stuff. And I'll tell you, it hasn't healed yet. And I know because it's part of what I need to be able to see with my third eye. And they've told me that, that um, I can, but what they have done is kind of give me back my ability to drive and different things like that. Um, but it's still there. And I, I realize when I go into meditation, that is the place that um, I see my visions now and it opens up bigger. But anyway, it's annoying during the day. Uh, so they haven't healed it in that way. But when I'm doing things that are important, like driving, they, they kind of take it away so that I can see properly. Um, so anyway, you'll start to feel the energy healing your body. You'll feel like twinges and you'll feel shifting and pain and you may, you know, you feel cracking of the bones or, you know, different things like that. I wish I'd written down all the things that have happened to me since I've done, you know, when I think to do this. Okay. Cause I feel different, different body parts move or like even my neck one time kind of shifted and, um, you know, and I think, oh, I should write that down. So when I ever, if I ever do this, I can tell them. Right. But I of course didn't. Um, so the thing is, though, you're going to have your own experiences. You are going to um, be able to ex like experience it in your own way. You may not hear, you may not feel things like I do or other people, but be assured that that energy from all of that that you've called into your med bed is working on your body. And if it's for your highest good, and if you're meant to be healed in those departments, then allow it to happen and trust it's going to happen. Have that faith 
that they're there for you. I'm getting heebie-jeebies sitting here because I can feel them around me, right? Um, have the faith that they're going to do the healing that, you know, you're asking for, right? And be patient. Don't sabotage what you're asking them to heal for you. You know, like if you're saying, oh, I get so much pain in my shoulder because I'm always doing this and can you fix it, please? Then don't go back to just doing this all the time. Give it time to rest. Give it time to heal. And that's one of the things in the, the body scans in the quantum sessions, Kyushi sessions, they will tell you, we can heal anything if you participate and you don't sabotage yourself. If we feel you're not going to quit smoking, say, we're not going to heal your lungs. Because we know you're not going to quit smoking. Once you're serious, we'll do those things for you. You know, if we feel like you're not going to stop eating sugar all the time, we're not going to help you lose the weight you want to lose because you're going to sabotage yourself. You have to be open to healing in a way that um, they can work with you. It's a team effort, right? You, and it may not be all physical stuff you're wanting to heal. It may be emotions. It may be trauma. It may be past life issues that keep recurring. It could be, you know, um, like it could be anything you're working on. There's so many aspects to us as a human and with all of our layers that need to be um, straightened up. We've all been through a lot of trauma in the last few years. That's done some damage, trust me, to your, to your essence. So you have to be a really strong person to not have let what happened over the last couple of years affect you mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, you know, all of those things have been affected, whether you recognize it or not. Okay. Um, and I think this is why they've waited till now for me to, um, to bring this out. They're very, very specific and very, um, how do I say it? They don't push me and they don't rush me to do things because everything's in divine timing, right? So I know that this is coming out at exactly the right time. I know I work extremely hard on my day job and I'm in front of a computer all day and I just want it all weekend to not be in front of the computer and here I am recording a video because I know they need me to do this now. They've cleared up my weekend so I can do this. So, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to try and get this done over the weekend if I can. It's not going to be anything spectacular with fancy, you know, videography and all of this stuff, right? It's just basic. It's about healing yourself and it's about taking care of who you are in a time where you really need to. You need to get back to um, getting your, your self-worth back, getting your self-esteem back, getting your, your physical healing, your physical body back at optimum as much as you can your emotional state your mental state all those things need to come back into balance because we've all been knocked off kilter and this is the perfect time for this um for this bed to uh to come about and and one of the things that i was you know they show me so many things and when i did this i wanted to participate really bad in this quantum healing bed thing that i I can't even remember the name of the company that was doing this, but it really bothered me from the get-go that they were going to be charging so much money after you do a trial to continually be able to connect with this quantum healing bed, med bed that they say they have created. When my team was yelling at me loud and clear, Suzanne, here's another perfect example of why we have you doing what you do, because everybody needs access freely to this information, like to be able to do it every day if they want to and not have a, a massive fee that they're going to have to or feel they have to um, pay in order to continue to use it, right? I don't know if I have a little fee for, for downloading this or not. I, at this point, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it, but if I do, it'll be minimal, but it definitely won't be $1,000 U.S., <laughs> for you to be able to access this and learn how to do it, right? So what I'm going to do or what I will have done if you've gotten this far is you know that I've created the ebook and I've got this video. And then I'm going to, after you guys have had a little bit of time to try it and, and, and work it out, I think then I'll do a Zoom call 
and I will um, see, we'll get together and see the results you've had from it and see what kind of things have happened for you. Just be patient, allow it to uh, the healing to come through. Don't be afraid of it. You know, it's nothing bad. It's a, it can be very powerful energy that comes through extremely powerful energy that comes through. Okay. And um, I'll tell you, I had a session one time in, in Kyushu with a lady who had really bad lung issues going on. And this is one of my earlier sessions. And, you know, I just felt I had the right to ask Jesus to just heal her lungs right on the spot when I was talking to him in the session. Can't you just heal it? And he said, no. He flat out said, no. Do you know how much energy that we bring through here? When we do sessions like this, he says she would explode if we healed her right now on the spot. It's going to take three days for that energy to come in slowly to integrate with her lungs to clear the, the mess that was going on in there. Okay. And uh, we can't just heal instantly. Like we can't, they can. But in some cases, hey, yeah, you don't want to blow the person up with the amount of energy that comes through. And I'll tell you, I did a little bit of Reiki on. Uh, my husband, who had uh, a problem with his eye, it was sore. So I did Reiki on it. And <laughs> within a half an hour, his whole eye blew, blew up, and it cracked. And it like all this goop started coming out. And it took a full like, it's been about a week now of him trying to heal this eye, and it's almost healed. But I didn't realize in the last two years, even though I wasn't doing a lot of Reiki, I was still learning, I was still gaining, I was still increasing my knowledge and my vibration and my still doing messages for you guys over the last couple of years. Right. But as we evolve as a person and as we connect and become more faithful and understand who we are and the power we have, we don't realize how strong it is until we use it without thinking. And, you know, we have to remember to back off the energy a bit. So that was a really good reminder of me at the perfect time to tell you how strong this energy can be when you're pulling it through. Okay, so um, I think that's it. I'll recap. Find a quiet space and be on your own and have time on your own. Okay, you're going to relax as deeply as you can. And you're going to ask the universe for a name for your med bed. Or you're going to call it something that you feel good about. Okay, that you're going to remember. All right, then you're going to lie quietly again. And you're going to start to think about everything that makes you feel good. Everything from colors to vibrations to songs to people to memories to thoughts to feelings to anything that makes you feel good. Right. And you're going to call that to your space. Blue frequency energy, come to my space. The memory of my mom and I walking down the field, come to my space. Okay. The memory of my dad with the angel jumping through me, come to my space. You know, all of those things, you know, my first dog, my second dog, my third dog, their energy, my cat that passed two years ago, you know, whatever it is, call it to your space. Then you're going to say, I've called you here to ask you to participate and be part of my quantum healing med bed. Will you participate? And you'll hear a big yay. Yes. In your mind, you should. Anyone that doesn't want to participate will leave and that's okay. All right. But if they're from the highest light, they'll all be there and they'll be, you know, wanting to help you. So then you are going to, uh, once you relax, activate, or my quantum healing med bed to 2022 activate, give them 10 minutes or so to come in. Okay. Let it all filter in. You'll start to feel your vibration and your frequency raise. You may feel a shield come around you. Okay. And relax. When you feel you're at a really good space where you're calm and your breathing is nice and, and calm and there's no edginess in your body, you know, keep asking it to leave and make sure you're calm. Then you can say, uh, my quantum med bed, please scan my body. I need help in this area. 
remember you can telepathically speak. Okay. You may think my left knee and then you'll start to feel it. You may think my right arm and then you'll start to feel it. Okay. Please scan my emotions, get rid of my attitude. Give me, help me with edginess, whatever it is. You're going to ask those things. Okay. And then you're going to relax. And if you fall asleep, even better, they know what your thoughts are before you start. They know what needs to be healed before you start that they're allowed to heal. And, uh, you're going to just lie there. And if you fall asleep and it's the morning time and then you're, you know, you wake up, that's great. If you relax for 10 minutes and that's all you can handle, that's okay. One thing you need to remember is that if you get up and move to use the washroom or you get up for any reason and you come back, you have to say, med bed, reactivate, rescan my body. Okay. I can tell you a short story when I was doing a quantum session and how important this is. I was doing a QC session and I had uh, the person, it was a remote session. I was teaching a class. The person I had in trance in the Reiki bed or on the bed was in Quebec. All right. I'm in Ontario. And I asked the collective when they started the body scan to scan my husband who was lying on the couch in the other room. Okay. Resting. And they said, no problem. And then about, I don't know, half an hour later, we're still going through the process. I said, so how's my husband doing? And they said, oh, we have to stop the scan because he got up and went upstairs. So you tell me, how the heck did they know that? Okay. The quantum field is all around us and they're aware of everything we're doing. So when, when my husband moved, the scan stopped. And I wasn't aware, so it didn't continue. You have to ask it to restart. It's very important that you do that, okay? So just ask the scan to restart. And then uh, say, I, I thank you in advance. If I fall asleep, I thank you for your service. I thank you for your help with my healing. And then I'll see you next time, okay? And then after you're done your session, just make sure that you take care of yourself. Hydrate. Water is really important to keep the energy flowing, okay? Um, rest is another good one. Don't get stressed out. Don't watch scary movies. Don't go out and smoke a pack of cigarettes. Don't go and, you know, drink a bottle of booze. Treat your body like a temple that it is and be kind to it. After a quantum session like that, it can, it's trying to integrate into your physical body. You may feel aches and pains. You may feel different things and it's okay. Just allow it to shift you and start to help you heal. Okay. So that pretty much is it it's not that difficult but there's a lot of little things to remember so um, I really hope you enjoy it and that it works well for you um, I will announce doing a zoom call at some point and we can all come in and say hey what happened you know uh, during your sessions did you feel anything didn't you feel anything and we'll go through that okay um, I'm really grateful that you're here and you're trying it I know it works I've had years of feeling that, that field work with me um, directly before I even started doing Reiki healing. Okay. So I know that energy is really powerful and they want to help us. Okay. They just want the world to be a better place. And when we're in a good space, it reverberates around the world and it shifts the energy of other people. Okay. So that's it. I hope you enjoy your med bed and I'm anxious to hear the names of your med beds. Have a great day, everybody.